It's time to meet another patient in the emergency department. The staff may think they've seen it all, but they won't be expecting this. Accident and emergency. Here, lives are saved. Doctors battle with serious injuries, terrible accidents, life and death traumas. So what terrifying problem has 13-year-old Reese brought in with him? Well, basically, I was watching television last night with my nan. Go on. Um, and I was scratching my toenail and I picked it off. No way. You didn't. And I went to scratch my nose and the toenail went right off my nose. I'm sorry, what? He thinks he's got a toenail up his nose? Apparently. Reese was watching TV with his nan, chilling out, picking his toenails, as he did. I most certainly do not. When he pulled off a biggie, a right naily corker. But then his nose started itching. He wanted to scratch, and with that cheesy nail still on his finger, he went for it. Both nail and finger went up the hooter, but only his finger came out. And Reese reckons that bit of toenail is still stuck up there. Ouch. Just silly thing that's happened. But yeah, I'm gonna get laughed at tomorrow at school. Well, don't be too hard on yourself. There's a first time for everything. I got my uh, fingernail stuck on my eye once. Right, so not the first time then. What is this, a hobby? So, top that. Enter Dr Colin Campbell. Let's hope he's up to the challenge. So tell me, Reese, what's brought you into hospital today? I was picking my toenail and I went to scratch my nose, not realising the nail was still on my finger and it went up my nose and oh, right. I sniffed it off. OK. Hmm, he looks as bemused as me. Don't get told that very often. Very embarrassing. Which side of your nose has it gone on? It's my left nostril. It's gone right off. First, Dr Colin tries to see if he can spot the chewed off nail. Must be a pretty sight up there. Hope you're enjoying the view. I can't see the nail now. OK. So what I want you to do, just block that right nostril and as hard as you can. I just want you to blow out of your left one. Now, this is the important bit. <laughs> when you breathe back in again, don't breathe back in through your nose. Breathe back in through your mouth. So we're going to do something like this, OK? Off you go, then. Keep going. Blow as hard as you can. We could be here a while. As you saw when we were sneezing, your nose and mouth are connected. It's a maze of passages and cavities, linking your nostrils to each other and your ears to your nose and throat. That's why, when you're sick, sometimes a bit comes out of your nose. Gross. Meanwhile, back with Reese, there's still no sign of that nail. Blow as hard as you can. That's it. Keep going. I never thought I'd be doing this when I come to work this morning. Surely it must be out by now. Hmm, you'd have thought so. Oh, hang fire, we might have success. It's gone. Are you sure? It's made a runner. Yes, the nail has been nailed. But let's get another look up there, just to be sure. I can't see anything in his nose. Can you feel anything? No, I can't feel anything. You can't. Sometimes if you've scratched your nose, you know, on the inside, you can get a sensation that there feels like there's something actually inside your nose. You've not got that sensation now? No, no, it's gone. All right. Well, there you have it. As for the whereabouts of the missing toenail, nobody knows. I'm just happy that I can't feel it and it should be gone. The moral of the story is don't pick your toenails and don't put them up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Medical teams always expect the unexpected, but no one was expecting this. In the waiting room is nine year old Lauren with her family, and she's bitten off more than she can chew. I swallowed a clip. A what? It was a hair clip. Mm hmm. I took it out of my hair, mm -hmm. to get my hair flat, and then I swallowed it, and mm -hmm. then it just... Hang on. Let's get this story straight. Lauren was at home sitting on the sofa watching TV with her granddad. I don't think he's watching the programme. Someone else isn't watching the show either. Hmm. Anyway, whilst Lauren was watching the telly, she took her hair clip out of her hair, as you do. Yep. But what she's about to do isn't the best of ideas. I know, she likes chewing clips, and she was busy playing with this one in her mouth when all of a sudden she accidentally swallowed it, and it's never been seen since. Oh dear, ouch. 
What does Grandad have to say about all this? Well, she suddenly jumped up and ran out after uh, her grandma's in the kitchen. I was still reading the paper, so I didn't even know what had happened. <laughs> A lot of help you were, Grandad. But at least someone's taking it seriously. She put plates in her mouth, what's very naughty and bad. You got it. Anyway, with this clip lurking somewhere inside you, Lauren, we need to get you checked out pronto. And here's the man for the job. Over to Dr Tom Sibalskis. And how big was it? Can you show me? Well, I think it was that big. Right okay. Yeah, the clips are yeah. about that big, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, okay. So probably a couple of inches, yeah. you think. So quite big, actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm glad we sorted that out. And if you swallow, does it feel uncomfortable? Um, yeah. It does. And what we need to work out is whether or not the hair clip is stuck in the throat or whether it's actually gone down into a stomach. When you swallow something, it goes down your throat into your esophagus or food pipe, and then into your stomach. Lauren's hair clip might already have done this journey. But if it's still in her throat, it could go down her trachea or windpipe and end up in her lungs, which would cause her to choke. Did it feel like it went all the way down when you swallowed it? No, it didn't feel like it. Doesn't it doesn't feel like it went all the way down. OK, now I'm just going to pop this on your tongue. Just say, ah. Ah. I can't see anything there at all. Well, apart from her tongue and teeth, obviously. But to try to find out where on earth that clip has got to, Dr Tom has what might seem like a harebrained idea. OK, Lauren, we've got this little gadget. It's a metal detector. It's going to help us work out which part of you we need to X-ray to find where the hair clip's gone. Listen out for the beeps, everyone. Bingo! Yep, we've got a belly beep but at least we can give her throat the all clear, which is good news. Sometimes when we swallow things that are a little bit pointy or a little bit sharp, it can feel like they're stuck. Yeah. But actually, what that feeling is, it's where it's scraped or scratched the lining of, of your food pipe, and actually it may have gone down, it may be in the stomach. So her throat's clear, but this investigation isn't over yet. Dr Tom needs to find out exactly where the clip is in Lauren's belly to make sure it won't cause a dangerous blockage in the narrowest part of her intestines. So it's off to X-ray. We'll be back later to see how she gets on. <laughs>